Good day, this is Mike Oldham with Lee Smith. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Today's presentation is to discuss the Isuzu Airlines and Air System. To get to the first pedal reactive control, we'll need to access the front of the hood. The Isuzu does have a hood. The latching mechanism is on the left-hand side of the steering column. So I've raised the hood, brought down from stowing point to locking point, the arm that will elevate the hood out of the way. This isn't an access point to your engine, it is an access point to your two cabin air filters, your high-low air conditioning, your windshield washer fluid, and what we're talking today, the Isuzu Airlines and Air System. This is what controls the brake pedal pressure to allow the air pressure to engage. So in the Isuzu, we have air brakes, the option for air ride, and with the Isuzu, you also have the air ride seat. So the air ride seat also pulls off pressure from our air chambers to supply side that self-leveling ability. So a quick note about tilting the cab. If the cab is not fully nested, you'll hear this alarm and on the dash, it shows the cab tilt lock is not in place. To safely hit the cab, we have two levers, primary release, secondary pull down. That is the main mechanism which latches the cab into position. And then we have that extra safety third position. From here, you have a grab handle on the bottom and a secondary to control the tilt of the cab. This is the Cummins 6.7 liter, highest power efficiency engine of the 6.7, offering 660 foot-pounds of torque at 1600 RPM and 260 horsepower. It is crammed safely into the Isuzu frame. This technology has been evolving since 1983. Technology starts from the skirt up. So our head assembly up is where you've seen advancements in fuel efficiency and to meet the EPA requirements. The air compressor line feeds out right here and processes along the frame rail, routed out and around the transmission into the Bendix heated air dryer. Coming back to the first peel off of the primary tank. This particular tank is for the air ride suspension. So we have air supply coming from our compressor to supply our air ride suspension. But as we track our brake lines as they flow over and back to the secondary valve, the line that comes in through this device is for our air brake application for parking. And these are our service brake that come into our brake chambers or brake pods. What is the difference between green and yellow? The green is our supply side for engaging, service brake pressure to lock down our brakes, and the yellow is for parking. Now the wet tank on the Isuzu is actually placed behind the rear axle for the braking system that has the most amount of pressure. There are two bleed pull valves that are located Behind the rear axle, beside the air ride suspension, it would be the spring suspension through here if it was spring. But again, this is our pull line for the wet tank for the Isuzu F-Series. Now for your air chambers, there is a second one. This is for our air ride suspension. So you have air ride suspension tank in addition to our main brake chamber tank at the back. Brake adjustments are automatic slack adjusters, which can be found at the back of the chambers. So brake adjustment is handled through the slack adjusters. The slack adjusters are manual and self-adjusting. The self-adjusting would be if you go into reverse, if you put your truck in reverse and glide into the brake position, it does go through to adjust the braking pressure at that point. The level ride of the truck is managed through this rod here to keep a constant height so when we do a dump on the interior that releases the pressure to let it down when we charge the, when we charge the system this self-leveling valve has a kind of a shut off unfortunately i get to akin it to your toilet bowl when that water gets up to right level it cuts off the air supply for your suspension the black line that feeds out of this is the line for our air ride seat so we have the heated air dryer into the brake pressurized chamber from here, it runs down into our air tank, in addition to running into our air suspension tank. So from our heated air dryer, we float out and into the air brake system. The black line courses back up and through and comes up back into the cab for that air ride suspension system. Again, my name is Mike Olden, and that is the way that the brake lines run inside the Isuzu F-Series cab. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email. 
mmolden at lee-smith.com. You go make it a great day.